There is a reason to eat at places that serve old-fashioned food. I mean, serve the food of your grandparents. Because when you taste it, well, you can be assured that it's taken a long time to perfect the recipes and that, you know, they resonated with a whole lot of people and that there's gonna be a delicious quality about it. Of course, in the modern era, we think some of them are a little bit heavy, but you should go to a place that is in Paris called La Tour, I'm reading this because I need to read it, La Tour de Monterey Chez Denise. So it's very near the old Leal market. Um, there's other venerable places around here. I've gone frequently to Au Pied de Cochon, 24 hours, big brasserie. This is a little more bistro-like and they have dishes that are like tripe dishes and the pig's feet dishes. And the, um, the, we had a salt cod dish that was braised with some potatoes. And well, I can just say that I love those flavors. I'm not sure I want to have them every day, but there's a reason to come to these places. My tripe dish was big pieces of all kinds of tripe, uh, the big stomachs, not the little tripitas like you would call chitlins in the States, uh, but braised for a long time with calvados. But I mean, it had that stick to your lips kind of richness to it. My wife had uh, some stuffed tomatoes with pork and beef, very much like home-style cooking. The salt cod dish was really, really delicious. It was uh, cooked in an Auvergne style. Um, I'm not sure I can tell you exactly what that is, but it was all really worth eating. And worth eating because it was good, and because it spoke of tradition, which you find a lot in this layout section of 